Hello, welcome to Bolthead Airfield. We're just here looking at Keith's very lovely Luscombe that he restored some months ago. And uh, he's just uh, driven home. He'll be back soon and he'll jump into his Luscombe here, this, uh, the red aircraft, 1946 Luscombe 8A, which he will uh, fly up to Dunkerswell to get the paperwork signed to enable, enable him to fly and test fly his other aircraft, which is just around the corner his very lovely Vans RV-8A. So Keith will be back shortly, jump into his Luscombe, fly up to Dunkerswell, which is it's about uh, just under an hour there, about an hour back, and then he'll be test flying his... Uh, you're really most welcome to join me on my film today. We're following the adventures of a local lad. He's a builder. His name is Keith Wingate. He's building an aircraft which ultimately he's going to fly to America next year. Now that is quite an undertaking. We're at Bolthead Airfield. Keith has had uh, notification that the postman has the uh, test flying paperwork in his van. So Keith has scuttled home. Just started the engine and this is the uh, first engine start for the very first test flight which uh, he's preparing for now so hopefully everything goes well it's a lot of preparation to do with a new engine new aircraft and a new system fully electronic so let's keep our fingers crossed Keith's very first test flight of an aircraft that he has built himself and which he intends to fly to America next year. Quite an undertaking. I really feel you have to agree. Here is his aircraft in the hangar before it was rolled out and uh, the plan today is to uh, roll the aircraft out, get it started and taxi out to take off for the very first time. We're, uh, we're in June now up at the airfield. Keith's got the paperwork back, it's all signed. He started his aircraft and he's just doing the run-ups to, uh, to enable him to check everything before he taxis up to the runway to embark on the first flight. This is always a very serious uh, undertaking and quite a nerve-wracking one because, uh, as you can imagine, if you've actually built your own aircraft and then you're going to fly it, I think you have to have uh, a certain level of courage and commitment and confidence in the building that you've carried out is going to uh, is going to work so we'll sit back and just see just see what happens as he taxis up to the runway by the way i kind of would like to add that keith's built 16 different aircraft to date so I think this is his 16, and uh, it's, it's quite a, a special aircraft. It's a Vans RV-8A. It uh, has a 200 horsepower fuel-injected engine, so it'll have a fair old endurance and a fair cover a fair bit of ground, uh, cruising at around about 200 miles an hour. So it's quite a quick aircraft uh, and a very capable aircraft. Which, uh, which he hopes uh, and aims to uh, do his transatlantic flight in next year. So he's just going to taxi up now, up to the uh, runway on this glorious day here at Baltbed Airfield. The, um, it really is lovely weather, uh, fairly light winds, clear skies, ideal conditions for a first test flight. Quite a crowd has turned out to see him uh, carry out this test flight. See here, and probably no more than 200 meters, perhaps even less. That's a stunning performance and it'll give him an incredible uh, climb speed of around about 2,000 feet a minute. So it really and truly is a, an amazing aircraft. Everything went well. He's uh, done a few uh, laps of the sky overhead and uh, it's just coming back into land. Um, quite a smooth landing. 
Uh, it'll be a great big relief now he's back on the ground and everything's okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the film. Um, we'll continue to follow his adventures and uh, next year when he begins to start all his planning and embark on his travels across the Atlantic, we'll try and keep up with all the uh, everything that's happening. Hope you've enjoyed the film. Keep a look out for the next one. All the very best. Take care. Cheers for now. No place to go Out on one way number nine Big 707 set to go But I'm stuck here on the ground 